welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Object 430U. It's the Soviet Tier 10 medium tank, and this one's located on the south spawn of Abbey under the command of Captain Ashstorm. Well, what can I tell you about the 430U? Well, U stands for strengthened or improved. And it's really a heavy medium tank because uh, they increased the armor, increased the weight of the vehicle, improved the engineering. And effectively, at the end of it, instead of having a medium tank, they actually had another heavy tank. Um, it was supposed to be an a, uh, improvement and replacement for the T-54, but it ended up being closer to a heavy tank. And since the Soviets already had a heavy tank in development, they decided to cancel the Object 430U and proceeded with other projects instead. So let's have a look and see what happens in this battle. 122mm gun. And you can see it's got a compensator at the uh, midpoint. And battle is underway. Actually, I think that compensator's a uh, flash reducer. Now, we'll have all the characteristics of a medium tank in terms of being fast, uh, able to outflank the enemy, but uh, remember, it's got the armour of a heavy tank. And it's well able to outpace IS-3s like the one you just saw moving away. And yet it has several of the characteristics of an IS-3. Now, the tank is able to uh, penetrate. 252mm of armour. It's got alpha damage of 440. Uh, if you use the heat ammo, you can increase that penetration to 340mm. Nobody yet, but we're bound to see somebody soon. The AMX 13105 is in the center, but the Scorpion G is on the far side, uh, so uh, we're not looking for him to do any spotting. The AMX 13105 has got into the uh, village area, and an object 257 has turned up. There he is. So, having a quick look, we've switched the heat ammo. Captain Ashton does like using heat, he does like using premium ammo. He gets good results with it though. And the corner, ah, oh, there's a 53 TP there as well. And there's the object 257. Oh, lovely round through him, 470. That's a nice high roll. And the reload's gone through. 8.42 seconds on the reload. Moving up. Oh, three enemy tanks there. So the IS-6 has joined them now. And the IS-6 is just behind that rock. Yes, get a round through the 53 TP, but we take a round from him instead for 413. And got that 257 is turning up. And he actually, he gets a hit into the T-26E5 instead. 443 onto the E5. And side scraping on the IS-6. Goes to the upper plate, oh, takes him out. out. Bounces the round from the IS-6. And not going to shoot just yet. T-26 comes around the corner. And one through his side, 437. The object 257 comes out to try and get a shot. And all he does is hit the tracks. There's 53 TP, takes a round. But we take a round in return for 434, so that wasn't an exactly fair exchange. There's the 257, no for front plate. Yes, that one goes through 422. We're running fairly low on heat rounds. The 42 TP trying to get a round in. Unfortunately, we took a round from him. No. That 257 knows how to side scrape. He's only offering us the side of the vehicle. And we're trying to go for the Capola, and that works. 376, we pull in to avoid the return shots. And the 53 TP comes forward. We wipe him out. And we've also picked up a steel wall if we can survive. 
And the enemy is now facing other tanks in the close proximity. We get 469 there on the uh, 705. And the 257 has gone down. And the enemy is turning up now en masse. I think they know that uh, if they don't win this corner, it's all over. A Waffentrager turns up. We're still loading heat. We could use HE on the Waffentrager. And unfortunately, the way is blocked by our tanks. We lose our Patriot. And there's the Waffentrager. And we take him out the game with a shot over the hull of the IS-3. Would you believe it? Our teammate. We shoot over his hull into the Waffentrager. Now, where is the 705? There. Oh, he's hiding behind that wreck. It's going to be difficult to get a shot. Going to have to push past this wreck. We've done so. We come over the top. Bring a round down. And yes! Bring him out the game. 177. We've got a T26E5 round the corner. Not the Patriot version. Try and sneak up on him. We've got the high caliber. We're side scraping. And yes! Take him out the game. 380 hit points. Now we've got a Leopard up there. Leopard 1. There's uh, still six enemies to kill but we've already got the high caliber if we can maintain the fire rate now captain ashton's decided he's not gonna is he gonna go up this way no he is gonna go up this way after all he thought he was gonna go all the way around we don't need to do that we're going after the leopard there is also an enemy arty in grid square k1 but i think the canonian Jagdpanzer and the tortoise will deal with him I've got an AMX 13105 coming up to help. That's course forcing the leopard to back up. We know he's around the corner, so we can come up behind him. Okay, there's a Conqueror gun carriage. And that one goes into the tracks. And that was a heat round. Oh, no, not going to waste that round. Oh, the Conqueror's gone down. Okay, and we, the leopard's been killed. And that means now it's virtually the end of the game. Three kills left to get. And there's a boar sig out there. Can we get a shot? Difficult, but we can just. It's a 100 LT and a Pajetto. Oh, we fired just behind the Pajetto. That was an awkward one. Um, can we get another shot? Almost reloaded. Still firing heat. The, the Pajetto goes down. There's the. Oh, we get the boar sig. And that's the Top Gun. T100 LT is the last remaining enemy. We're still firing heat ammo though. I think Captain Ashlam sometimes forget that he's firing heat ammo. And carries on regardless. And that T100 LT is putting up a hell of a fight. And I suspect that Captain Ashlam's going to try and drive around the rock. And get to him. He's down by the river. He may try to drown himself. I think he's fallen into the river. Yes, he has fallen into the river and drowned. Game over. Look at the damage to the front of the vehicle. It took a plastering. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's the second class tanker for Captain Ashdorm in the Object 430U, which is the Object 430 in the approved state. Uh, he managed to get a second class tanker, uh, shell proof for getting uh, for blocking more damage in the hit points of his own vehicle, a fire for effect for doing more damage in the hit points of his own vehicle, a bruiser mill for getting at least five critical hits, he got six, he got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle, a top gun for getting at least six kills, and a steel wall for blocking at least a thousand hit points of damage, receiving at least 11 hits and surviving the battle. So let's have a look at the, the win 8. That was 4929 from that battle. Uh, okay. <laughs> On premium rounds, this tank is tier 12. Well, maybe it probably is. Yes, because it just goes straight through them. Look at that. Highest damage, 5,214 hit points of damage. More than double the next highest score on his team, which was the Scorpion G with 2239. The highest score on the enemy team was their T44100. 4,539 hit points. And that's pretty good because that, that is a tier 8 tank doing a lot of damage in a tier 10 game. He got a tank sniper as well out of it. Um, when it came to kills, again, it was Captain Ashton with six kills. 
The next high score was the T44-100 with four, and then there's a whole bunch of tanks with two. And when you look at base XP, again, Captain Ash Storm gets the highest amount, 1,077 base XP, then followed by the Scorpion G with 1,035, and then we've got the T44 on the enemy team, who managed to get 807, even though he's on a losing battle, losing side, he's still got a high XP because he did a lot of damage. So let's have a look at detail report. Well, Captain Ashland fired 17 rounds. He got 15 direct hits, 14 penetration. Uh, he did damage of 5,214 hit points, of which 379 were at more than 300 meters. He received 11 hits from the enemy. Three of them were penetrations, eight were non-penetrations, and one hit was a result of splash damage. He blocked damage of 3,270 hit points. He damaged eight of the enemy, killed six of them, and did damage assistance of 109 hit points. On a premium count, he earned 70,860 credits, and he also had a reward for mission completion of 35,445, bringing up a total of 106,335 credits. But, and here's the kicker, he actually had repairs of 17,107, ammunition resupply of 88,400 and that's mainly because he kept firing heat rounds in fact he fired heat rounds right from the start of the battle until the end uh he also after re resupplying consumables he had a loss of 9,172 credits. He received seven bonds for the high caliber the uh, um, top gun and the steel wall and he also received 1,615 XP, uh, 808 XP for a mission completion, got 2,423 experience points altogether. So, pretty good battle actually there for Captain Ashstorm. Uh, 4929 on the win 8, that's very, very high, super unicum style um, level, but it really is all about the ammunition. With the ammunition, this tank is tw tier 12. The ammunition can slice through the enemy, and he did slice through the enemy, even when they were presenting their strong parts to him he was still getting straight through them so uh, this is the final tank on the uh, medium line for the Soviets uh, but you can see how just as effective this tank was against heavy tanks the heavy tanks that it was facing uh, it really is a super heavy or a heavy tank not a super heavy I think a heavy medium is the better way of describing it and uh, so really it's the the heavy tank that never was you might say because the Soviets never produced it but they did build the prototypes so if you enjoyed this replay please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that i'll be featuring in the next video